Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing Diaries of Death. This is the story of Hermetheus who is still on his uh, ever so holy quest uh, for Akhtash to cleanse the realm of Skyrim from the undead scum. Last time we successfully acquired a few um, pieces of uh, gear uh, Asendal's uh, set which is really really nice two pieces already ours we got a nice uh, ring of Asendal's arcana ring um, and today we're continuing first and foremost with uh, following up on our shouts we got elementary fury as uh, the one shout that Hermetheus is going to use. Keep in mind he's not the uh, Dragonborn so he gets one shout and one shot only and I figured we might want to uh, dive a bit deeper into exactly that shout. Hence we are now at Shriekwind Bastion, a vampire infested hellhole. So what could possibly go wrong? Let's start this episode with a bang. All right, off we go into the depth of the dungeon. That elven great sword will be waiting for us later when we clean out the entirety of the dungeon. But for now, I want to get the shout and cleanse this place from the undead scum that inhabits it. Since we're fighting a couple of vampires, I would like frost and magic and poison please yes that and yeah. that and that Good, very good. Costly, but good. Gotta be careful not to go into toxicity. Good, we're still taking a bit of affliction damage. Holy shit. These vampires were strong. We didn't uh, infect ourselves with uh, sanguine. So no chance for uh, for us to become a vampire as well. Luckily, they're looking for the last corpse here. There we go.
But we have such high elevated levels of toxicity, it's still going. Ring of extreme blocking, I like that. Arcane Ward and Raise Dead. Two decent spells. Arcane Ward 2 we can most certainly use. There is a coffin back here. After fighting the vampires, this one here is more of a joke. Fantastic. Second shout, Elemental Fury. But we are not done with the dungeon yet. I thought there was... A chest or something out here. Apparently I was uh, blatantly wrong. Good, we're not done with the dungeon yet. There is still plenty to fight through. Granted, the vampire nest is eradicated. And the hardest uh, vampire is dead. But still, there's an entire dungeon. And finally, we're out of toxicity. Which means the vision is no longer blurred. Good. Time for us to clear the dungeon. One level after the other. Like I said, we can't accept that undead scum is inhabiting these ruins. I was to a degree hoping that we would find Medicia's beacon in this dungeon. That is the statue that I was visiting. Can be completely random anywhere in any of the dungeons in the boss chests. When finding it, it will start the quest for a beautiful weapon that this character here could definitely use. We still got to increase the tech speed going on. Oh yeah. Plenty of skeletons to deal uh, with. Oh yeah, definitely plenty of skeletons.
hope I don't miss that. Nice. I got a flawless emerald. And we're going further into the dungeon. As you can see this here, compared to the problems that we had beforehand, is rather easy, but that's because we're backtracking the dungeon now, right? There's one more vampire, if I'm not mistaken, supposed to be somewhere around here. Yep, there she is. Good, that should have killed the Thrall as well, yep. Strategy, ignore the Thrall and kill the Vampire. Good, we're slowly regenerating. Yep, that was a uh, trap. I almost forgot about it. And that was the dungeon. Ooh. Not well. That was some action. Got ourselves all the way through the Trickwood Bastion. And we got a, uh, we got a second uh, shout. Which means we got to pay the dues. Um... Well, I'll drop the gold at a merchant. Next up, I think could use a one-handed sword. So maybe I'm trying the same cave that uh, Ron the Snake has died. It's quite cast heavy, but it feels that we can withstand a bit of punishment. So yeah, let's do that. And we'll see you right there. A man, a word. We find ourselves in Anselwund, the resting place of Ron the Snake. He went here with level 10, potentially lower equipment than we did. Uh, less magic resistance for sure. And didn't do particular well, uh, particularly well. 
He got ambushed and beaten up by a Draugr. Matter of fact, he got stuck is the correct description. There is a massive difference though. Uh, we're dealing not as much damage as he did. But we most certainly can take a couple of hits. Matter of fact, I think we could take a full hit uh, of a two-handed weapon, like a power attack of the Draugr's. Never really explored that side here. I think that's where we've got ambushed the last time. I remember that Ron had one enemy in his back. Bring it on. So that's a clear advantage in contrast to run. We don't mind fighting a war of attrition against a couple of mages. Okay, a little bit of frost damage. That ice sphere has hurt Ron like massively. I know with him, we went in and just bum rushed them. This guy is a pretty strong arcane ward. Okay, so far we're good. Good, our attack shout certainly increases the DPS noticeably. Specifically, if the enemy can't block, we're definitely at an advantage. Okay, so far so good. Definitely remember we were much more careful with Ron here.
Wait, they were lightning mages, so I definitely remember that one. I am Lua Al Skaven. Who are you to disrupt my work? Be gone, or I will add you to my army of the dead. Okay, well, it's a lot of damage. Luckily, the frost resist worked well. Need to carefully get out of toxicity. We don't. I need a bolt of fire. As long as they don't rushes we should be fine but the electromancer is down oxbolts That was a solid hit. Okay, we're running out of proper bolts. that be a lesson mages you either go in or you go home But we're continuing with uh, sil uh, with orc spoles. Gotta use whatever tools we do have available. Well, you missed your one shot that you had. And That has cost you dearly. I remember this position. That's where Ron died. And yet again, we're overloaded. We're, I'm not, I'm definitely not going to let that happen again.
rise from your graves to defeat this worm. So <laughs> Ambitious. Good stamina is back. And I told you I can take a power attack. Ooh, okay. Well, the five Draugrs were the ones that killed Ron. He made it that far. And it's a super cramped place, so I can see now in hindsight why this is actually a place where you gotta be a bit careful. Most of them with two-handed weapons. Good, one more Draugr down. That's a pretty rich cave overall. Remarkable, unfortunately not the surpassing potion. Good, we killed most of uh, the enemies, I think. The main necromancer might still be around. So yet again, the classical Psychon. You gotta be careful here. Okay, well, we know it's another... Nasty spell slinger. Oh, what? No, 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 no. We're not going to deal with that shit. Solidly going to wait until he is gone. I don't want to deal with the storm astronaut. 
let's uh, really really hope we're not dealing with a summoned staff of uh, these guys <laughs> no damage whatsoever and that was an orcish bolt Yeah, that's a bit above our pay grade. I tell you what, we're going to wait that out. Or not, maybe we are sniping the Conjurer. Who knows? Nice, that's a good hit. A solid hit. We're lucky that the Storm Atronach is preventing the Draugr from entering. Alright, come on. are almost down. Getting the Draugr out of the way. Can't really do anything against that Storm Archonok. It's stupid. It's stupidly strong. When I started the playthrough here, I wouldn't have guessed to get so much mileage out of the um, the crossbow. By telling me this storm atronach is still here. Do we have any staff? Ice spheres. Well, yep, that reasonably hurt him. Wow. I wish I could do something else, but just look at the ranged damage of this uh, thing, and mind you, that's the lower damage. Weapon charge is depleted. Great. Lightning shackles will do nothing against uh, this guy. A 
that kill him. Good, we got a new staff of ice spheres. Love it. Really had to fight an entire uh, storm acronaut. Just point, putting it into perspective of what Ron could have done here, I think Ron would have been dead at this point. Like this is just a bit too much above his pay grade. The build that we are playing is. Created to withstand at least some abuse, which is good, but Ron was all offense, or ma mainly all offense, and little to no defense. Let me look up the puzzle. Okay, so we're working with Eagle, Snake, Whale, Snake. Short rebuffing. There we go. Time to dance the last dance in this dungeon. Great. I'll take that axe in a second. I do have enough armor to withstand a couple of blows. You guys apparently not, but that's okay. shall have vengeance for the death of my husband. Rise! Time to manage our stamina. Oh! <laughs> 
Hey, come on. Is that a disarming shout? Come on. You must be kidding me. Alright, time to find our axe, uh, our sword rather. He disarmed us somewhere here. And now I can go through it pixel by pixel. Come on, where's the sword? All right, let me fix that. Good, back in business. I thoroughly hate disarm shouts, but I think I'm not the only one. Almost everybody hates disarm shouts. Specifically, it's so unintuitive if the weapon would just lie on the ground and you have like this huge circle around it indicating you need to pick it up i mean that in itself would already be bad enough right so you're losing your weapon you need to look around it takes you some time it interrupts your blocking routine no but on top of it it screws up all of your all of your hotkeys it takes it out of every single weapon group. It just makes it incredibly pain, unnecessarily painful. Sometimes weapons fall through the ground due to their acceleration and then they are lost, basically. So whilst I appreciate the idea of a disarm shout, I think it's its implementation has been no quite weak. Ooh, that was a quick heal. Of course the guy came around the corner the moment that we were in trouble. Now we need to get in I need to first of all get into a safe spot. Oh, that was close. Oh, look at you, you just killed yourself. Well, that's unfortunate. can't go into melee and I need shock resistance
Let's string up some mana. He's coming closer. Can't have that. He's almost out of mana. Comes a bit closer, we might be able to pull off a melee attack. Alright, he was out of mana and would finally close the gap. Gosh, that's a lot of damage that the guy dealt. We even do have shock resist running. Okay, this is one of those places where we're getting a heavy undead attack. Before that happens, so let's get full stamina. I could not raise him, but I will raise an army to avenge his defilement. <laughs> Again, out of stamina. Are you guys coming? Okay, we gotta get uh, down. Unfortunate. Yeah, I didn't want them to run into the traps, which is... Well, I was um, trying to just stand my ground there. Potentially could have just killed them with the traps.
Okay, one down. And another one down. Yeah, we're getting a few uh, diluted potions out of uh, these guys. That's helpful. And of course, funeral rites help us to be on top of our game. Okay, almost all of them down. And let's hope there is not another wave of uh, these guys. They hit pretty hard. No, there is not. There is another wave of enemies so might as well do that and you know what since we're here they burned his body before I could raise him it should have been returned to me That's it for her and for basically all of them. That a little bit of extra damage was helpful from the play Metronarch. There we go. Fantastic. The ghost blade. Slicing through solid armor as it moves uh, through air. That's our option for dealing with heavy armor. Matter of fact, I mean for 67 points of damage. isn't bad at all plus it doesn't cost any weight for us which is great I'll pick that up a bit later I anyways need to come back and pick up everything Let's end the episode here. We have gotten quite a few skills, which we will do prior to ending it. Um, we wanted one hand to 50. Which definitely is possible.
good. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Fantastic. So now that's that that is uh, done about we're putting pushing alteration further and besides alteration it's restoration time those dungeons here are really helpful to get to those higher numbers we're almost at 75 restoration almost good leveling up bit more health yes please some more magicka and we got three perks right so for starters since we are healing ourselves quite regularly I'm taking improved healing that's a really strong one Before we go deeper into alteration, I actually would want to work on our one hand. I will say we're focusing on swords uh, this run. And with that sword focus, that's even better than the powerful strike for now that will help us a lot we still need block we still need uh, um, alteration a bit higher but that will come over time hermetheus is doing very well uh, for himself the alteration perk would be the next big thing if we could get alteration we could get alteration to 50 that wouldn't be bad because then let's see uh, we could get magic resistance too tell you what those would be the next points besides um besides yeah i think uh, restoring stamina is also important so those two trees for now are the ones uh, that we should go in we got enough offense now with uh, some more armor penetration and with a ghost blade we definitely have enough armor penetration uh, to deal with uh, any heavily armored enemy whatsoever i'll finish the dungeon if you enjoyed uh, the uh, story of uh, the two dead lovers, feel free to leave a like down below and see you in the next episode of Prometheus Diaries of Death.